Do you ever struggle ironing a dress shirt? Well, I've got a really great way to show you how to do it, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Erin here with Wardrobe Hackers, and today I'm gonna show you how to properly iron a men's dress shirt. Okay, first off, you're gonna need a few things that are essentials. You're gonna need a really good iron, one that is has a heavy weight. So when you apply pressure to the shirt, it's going to get those creases out easily. Next, you are going to need a water bottle. This you're just gonna use to dampen the shirt prior to ironing it. Your iron may have a spray option on there, which you can also use as well. I just like using the spray bottle. So next you want a really nice ironing board, one that stands up that's really sturdy. So let's get started. First and foremost, you're going to want to iron your shirt when it is freshly laundered. So it could even be damp, all right? If it's dry, then you're gonna wanna take your spray bottle and just lightly spray it to, you know, give it a little bit mist and a little bit wet. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to Turn on your iron, make sure that it's at the proper setting. Go ahead and turn it to the cotton setting. That is gonna be a high heat, and that's what you're gonna wanna use for cotton. So what I like to start with first when I'm ironing my husband's dress shirt is I like to start with the collar and the cuffs, the two easiest things. So what you're gonna wanna make sure is that you take out the collar stays prior to ironing the collar. We're just easily gonna take those out. We're going to lay down the collar and I'm going to start inward on the collar and apply a nice pressure. You can also put some steam on that if you would like. Nice and crisp and clean. Now let's do the cuffs. What you're gonna wanna do is start from the inside of the cuff. Give a nice, clean movement, applying pressure. You're gonna wanna do the same for the next cuff. All right, after you've done both cuffs, what you're gonna wanna do is fold the cuff over and give it just a nice pleat. All right, the next step is the yoke and the back part of the dress shirt. The yoke is the part that comes from the shoulders and the neck, it's that back piece. And what you're gonna wanna do is iron from the outside in, applying pressure and some steam. Once you've done that, you're going to do the back of the shirt. All right, the next step is once you're done with the back and the yoke, you're going to rotate your shirt to the front. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to iron the placket. Now that's where the holes are where the buttons go. And we're just going to apply some pressure on that. And then we'll finish this side of the shirt, applying pressure, getting creases out, and always putting steam on while we're doing that. When we're done with that side, we will go to the next side where the buttons are. And what you're gonna wanna do is easily put the tip of the iron into each crease of the buttons. Again, applying pressure and steam as we go. All right, our last step is the sleeve. Now, what's great about this is you only have to do one side. So what you're gonna wanna do is lay out the sleeve on your ironing board following the seam. It's easily able to see that. Again, applying heat and pressure. And you only have to do one side. You'll rotate the shirt and do the other side of the sleeve, doing the exact same thing. All right, and there you go. That's how you iron a dress shirt in three minutes. Now, a tip. Once your dress shirt is done ironed, place it on a hanger for about 10 minutes to let it dry and cool off prior to putting it on. It will just help the shirt stay in place. 
Also, if you use starch, starch is for something that's going to be a little bit more formal. It's not necessary for an everyday occasion. Now, if you have found this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can go on YouTube and follow us at Wardrobe Hackers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.